A lot of individual settings are possible with the help of XSoft. The CPO can determine the cockpit app language and the name of the knee joint. There are five individually adjustable My Modes. These My Modes are adjusted by the CPO and can be activated by the user via the cockpit app. Additionally, the user can activate the first two My Modes with a special motion pattern. The special motion pattern has to be selected in XSoft for each My Mode. The CPO can choose out of different preset My Modes and each of them can be customized. In this example, Table Tennis is selected for the first My Mode in the drop-down menu. When clicking on Table Tennis, a warning message pops up that the mode will be switched from Basic Mode to the selected My Mode. Confirm this with OK. Two parameters are now visible and their values can be easily changed. The first parameter is the Basic Flexion Resistance. The higher this value is set, the higher the flexion resistance will be as the knee starts to bend. A higher basic flexion resistance will also decrease the flexion angle achieved. Conversely, if the basic flexion resistance is reduced, the maximum flexion angle will increase. The second parameter is named flexion resistance increase. A higher value will increase the level of flexion resistance quickly as the knee flexes and a lower flexion angle will be achieved, and vice versa. The settings for the My Mode Table Tennis are now reset to their defaults. Due to the given basic flexion resistance, the knee joint is not free swinging. To lock in flexion at 25 degrees, a relatively low value for flexion resistance increase is needed. Conversely, to achieve the same angle of 25 degrees, the basic flexion resistance has to be reduced and the flexion resistance increase must be set higher. The knee joint can flex easier and the flexion movement is stopped a little more abruptly at the target angle. If both parameters for the flexion behavior are set at their lowest level, the values are the same as in cycling mode. The knee joint is free swinging and there is no increase in the resistance. The user will need to stand securely during this state. If the user wants to perform some steps, the knee joint has to be controlled by active hip extension to prevent collapse of the knee. If only the basic flexion resistance is set to the other end of scale at its highest level, the knee joint is locked in full extension. It is also possible to create a My Mode where the knee will not lock. Set the flexion resistance increase to a very low value or zero and the knee will move through the full effective range of motion against the controlled resistance. In this case, the flexion resistance is set to 153. Due to the moderate basic flexion resistance and the low flexion resistance increase, the knee joint is not free swinging and does not lock. The user experiences a dampening behavior, which increases gradually from the basic flexion resistance up to the displayed value from 0 to 90 degrees. Another way to determine an individual flexion locking angle is to click on the button Establish the flexion locking angle. A warning message pops up. Please consider that the knee joint provides the full range of motion directly after confirming. Flexion resistance increase is set to zero by XSoft. Please ensure that the user stands securely. The value for basic flexion resistance remains at the same level as previously set during the locking angle adjustment. If the basic flexion resistance is set too low, it is possible that the knee will not lock at the desired angle. Ensure that the user is sitting or standing securely, depending on the desired activity. Now the knee can be flexed to the desired locking angle by the user and the CPO has to confirm the adjustment in XSoft. The desired flexion locking angle is set and the flexion resistance increases gradually until the knee joint locks. Be aware that a subsequent modification to the basic flexion resistance causes the locking angle to change as well. 
every My Mode can be individualized to a greater extent by clicking on the User Defined button. The extension behavior of every My Mode can be adjusted individually as required, but it differs from the flexion adjustment on the left side. Two values are available the basic extension resistance and the extension locking angle. The first one influences the extension resistance and the second value determines the extension locking angle directly. The name of the My Mode is automatically switched to User Defined and a new name can be entered individually. The basic extension resistance is set relatively high to start. Sometimes it is more comfortable to increase this value to avoid a hard extension stop, for example in the My Modes Table Tennis or Snowboarding. Another option is to adjust the basic extension resistance and to restrict the extension additionally. In this example, basic extension resistance is relatively low and the extension locking angle is set to 25 degrees. If there is no lock during the flexion movement, the user can bend the knee through the full range of motion. However, the extension movement stops at an angle of 25 degrees. To extend the knee joint, the user needs to hold the prosthesis back and in the air for roughly 2 seconds. The knee joint will move into full extension. Now the user can stand upright, but the My Mode is still activated. When the user bends the knee joint again, it will restrict the extension again at 25 degrees. The option for break knee can be activated in every My Mode. This means that when the knee joint is loaded, it will lock against flexion at the current angle regardless of the adjusted My Mode. In this example, the knee joint is relatively free swinging and the break knee is activated. When the user loads the prosthesis in a flexed position, the knee joint locks. With a higher flexion resistance and the break knee option selected, it is possible to pull heavier objects as pictured here. The break knee function is clearly stable under several different conditions. The swing phase can be activated, but the option to activate the swing phase is only available when using a Genium X3. If available, it can be activated for every My Mode. The settings for flexion and extension have no influence on the swing phase behavior. The next examples show a selection of My Mode presets that have been individually modified. The first My Mode to look at is Baseball. The knee joint is not free swinging and locks at 34 degrees of flexion. Swing phase is also activated. Regardless of the flexion lock angle, stance release is possible and the user can stop on the prosthesis safely. When using the swing phase option in a My Mode, stumble recovery is available from the beginning of the swing extension movement. The swing flexion target angle is set to 80 degrees by default and the stance release criteria have been specially modified for running steps. The next example is the Snowboard My Mode. The flexion locking angle is set to 48 degrees in the preset. The high basic flexion resistance should improve the control of the snowboard. The flexion locking angle and the extension lock at 10 degrees ensures that enough heel and toe pressure can be applied to the board and should provide relief to the residual limb muscles. Every turn can be taken with confidence and in a relaxed manner with these settings. To stand upright after unstrapping the snowboard, the extension lock can be excited by holding the prosthesis back and in the air for two seconds. The mode has to be switched back into basic mode before walking. It is not recommended to add the stance release function to this setting. If the knee joint bends just a little bit during loading response, stance release will not be possible for that step. Complete extension of the knee joint is always necessary to release stance. However, the extension lock can prevent this necessary knee extension movement from occurring. The last example is the locked knee my mode. 
This preset restricts the knee joint in both flexion and extension at 10 degrees. This means that it is completely locked in a flexed position at 10 degrees. Adjust the flexion angle at first and then set the extension angle to its maximum. To extend the knee joint completely, hold the prosthesis back and in the air for about 2 seconds. It is not recommended to add the stance release function to this setting.